Hello and welcome to another update video about gold. Gold has reacted to the larger support region in this wave two correction that we've been watching. I can take out the, now the uh, micro count, but um, the idea is that this here was a wave two. Unchanged, the support zone here was the stable element. The correction started at some point here in July, middle of July and lasted here into the 25th of July low. And bear in mind, before that, we already had this larger correction, which I considered a B wave. This was a really long correction between May and June. And then I already labeled it for you as a wave one, I think in one of the last videos. Then we had the wave two pullback, dipped into the support region, no change. At the moment, the focus is on higher and gold has again confirmed uh, the bullish thesis. Someone asked me recently in one of the videos and comments, what happened to the to the year of the metals? Well, it's here, it's here. Gold has performed really, really well this year. Silver as well. You see it, you know, it's it's incredible. I mean, we started the year down here um, around one, well, $2,000. I mean, for metals, this is decent, you know. It's been moving higher, higher, higher. Silver as well. Platinum, not so much yet, but I think it's also looking good. Um, anyway, you know, for the gold market, we are in a very, very complex pattern, however. It is a diagonal pattern and we are moving up in wave C at the moment. And this C wave is a five wave move. And it is part of a larger fifth wave. It is very complex. Don't want to get too much into this. But the idea is that we completed circle wave one around the 17th of July. We had the wave two pull back into the 25th of July. And based on this structure here, I would actually prefer that um, obviously this C wave is as well a diagonal. It just looks like that. The, the structures are just far too choppy and it works best in terms of proportions that we say this is an A wave top. We're now in a B wave pullback and we could continue higher. Anyway, the focus is on higher. For the last couple of years, I've only been highlighting that we are bullish on gold. Of course, the micro patterns change and sort of, you know, all sorts of stuff, but the overall focus is still bullish. And um, the idea is currently that we could be in this B wave pullback. I will take out this larger support zone. We don't need that anymore. If this is an A wave, which again consists of an ABC structure, not labeling the micro here, then again, this would be a B wave pullback and support for a B wave tends to be in the region between the 38.2 retracement and the 78.6 retracement. And it's between 2,387 and 2,456. We already reached it. Okay, we already reached that area. I mean, could the B wave be already over? Yeah, but for now, I would prefer this like an A, B, C structure in a larger B wave pullback before we then continue higher in wave C. Any direct break above 2,523, the last high, would just simply be an extension in wave A in my opinion. But overall bullish either way, and that means in other words, to keep it very simple, the focus is on further upside against the 2,386 level, which is the 78.6 retracement of the rally that happened between the 25th of July and the 2nd of August. So at the moment, this is all going according to script, um, which means we are, we're playing out this, you know, it's following that overall bullish pattern here. When would I need to change the assumption? At least we need to consider a change in wave count below 2,386. That's the update about gold. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as regular updates about stocks, feel free to check out our stocks and S&P 500 service. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.